Hi Taurus, welcome back to the channel. Welcome to Angel Love 333. Hope everybody is doing fantastic. Getting ready here to do your reading. Just a couple things before we start. Everything you need to know is in the description box. Details regarding personal readings. Also details how to win a free personal reading with me. And then lastly, there will be an extended uh, reading link in the description box and in the comments. If this reading resonates with you, you can check it out. I will look at the next uh, four weeks energy moving forward. Gives you some timing. Um, we'll see where the energy goes and I dig deeper. So with that, let's just get started here with your reading. Let's see what the energy is here for Taurus. We're doing the untold truth. Okay, interesting. So, two cards popped out here. We got mirror, okay? So, reflection here. Someone's really reflecting and thinking about their feelings, okay? Someone, I feel, is definitely thinking about you. It's an energy where there are shared feelings, okay? So, I feel like there's someone, uh, Taurus, where you and this person have the same feelings. Now, there is some sort of grief or some sort of loss here, okay? This could be missing someone, someone's missing uh someone here in this connection i always see crows as change so it may be there's something that needs to change um in this connection maybe to bring you and this person together but someone's really reflecting and thinking about their feelings for you taurus okay yeah look at that we have a spiritual connection so I feel like you and this person, it's definitely a deep love. It's a soulmate love, all right? This also talks about union. Let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. Oh, wow. Look at this. Confession. Unexpected message. So Taurus, you're going to get some sort of unexpected uh, message, I feel, from this person. This is someone I feel, there may be something they feel they have to justify, um, you know, maybe if there was some sort of disappointment or grief, right, or loss here. This could be someone wanting to explain themselves. For others, I feel like this could be someone, you know, it just could be somebody that maybe they're feeling depressed. Maybe they're feeling lonely here, right? Uh, but it does feel like there could be some sort of distance or separation here between you and someone. Um, but there's a very strong, uh, deep love, soulmate connection between you and this person. Okay, look at that. We got the three of wands. So I see somebody here waiting. Somebody waiting, thinking about the future. Let's see, envisioning the possibilities. Okay, this is right there with shared feelings. So let's see what else comes out for you. Okay, we got Page of Cups. Yeah, someone's coming towards you, Taurus, with this Page of Cups energy. Um, you know, this can be an apology. If there was some sort of disappointment, something that happened here, I see this person uh, thinking here. This is also telling you communication is coming here from somebody. Okay, Page of Cups energy. Yeah, look at that. Could be a water sign, a Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Uh, someone here has unconditional love for you. That's what it's showing there with that Ace of Cups. I'm going to put that right there. I feel here too, okay, again, this is showing me here a deep love here. Someone wanting a, a new start in love, okay? This could even be a friend, right? I'm just going to say this could be a friend. Maybe this is someone who sees something more with you, Taurus, and maybe that's why they're feeling a little at a loss here because they haven't really confessed to you how they feel is what I'm getting, right? So some of you, I feel like it could be someone where there was disappointment, okay? There was heartbreak here. Okay, I see an apology. Some of you, the letter M or W may be in point. Yeah, they're struggling here, okay? They're struggling here because look, here's the Knight of Cups. This is someone who wants to say or express something to you, Taurus. Okay, this is what they're thinking about. Now, um, I feel like they want the romantic opportunity with you. Definitely picking up, okay, uh, water energy, uh, Cancer, Scorpio, 
uh, Pisces energy and a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius so far. What else does Taurus need to know? Okay, yeah, look at that, communication, some sort of truth. I feel like there's something this person wants to say they want to express to you, Taurus, is uh, really what I'm getting here. They're holding it in, okay? They're, they haven't said, I feel, what they needed to see, uh, say, maybe see. Let's see what else. Okay, yeah, look at that, temperance. And we also have the Three of Cups. Okay, now there's something here around timing. I'm going to say for some of you, this could be a reconciliation. But this is also someone I feel, Taurus, that you've been very loyal to is what I'm getting here. Okay, Three of Cups, Ace of Cups here with the spiritual connection. This is someone I feel wanting to connect with you. Again, I feel there's kind of this unconditional love here. Someone's struggling though here, I feel. Okay, struggling, finding the balance with their feelings, their emotions could be a Sagittarius energy uh, is, is what I'm getting there. Okay, we're going to see what the struggle's about. Maybe here what they want to say. I'm going to clarify that as well. Temperance does feel like there has been some time okay so maybe you've been friends with this person for quite some time or some of you there could be some distance with this uh energy so let's clarify um this three of wands tell me more about the three of wands tell me more about the three of wands okay yeah page of wands they're thinking about the communication. Like I said, some of you, they may be uh, waiting for communication. You also got a card of reflection. This is someone thinking about the future, thinking about the time invested. Remember, this card says shared feelings. Tell me more about this King of Swords. Tell me more about this King of Swords. Okay, again, a message. There's something here about this person, okay, wanting to communicate a message, okay, taking a step towards you. They're showing up as a page. So either this is someone where there has been distance between the two of you, and they're taking that first step to communicate, or some of you, this is a friend, a friend here that, you know, there's something here about them feeling sorry, or they're feeling down, but... Let's see what else. What else does this person want to say? Yeah, they've been thinking a lot about you is what I'm getting here with that uh, Four of Swords. And look, the Ace of Wands. So they want the opportunity. The desire is there. Interesting because here's the Queen of Swords, which is the counterpart of that King of Swords that we are seeing. I feel like this is someone, Taurus, who sees you as a partner wanting the opportunity. Does feel like they've been thinking a lot th about this for a while. Let's see what the Lost card is here. Tell me more about this Lost card. And we're going to see also what they're struggling. Yeah, again, the same energy. Three of Swords energy there. Okay, feeling at a loss, I'm getting. Okay, some sort of heartbreak. Four of Wands here. Some of you, there was some sort of ending here. Tell me more about that Three of Swords. Seven of Wands. Okay. There's been some challenges, I feel, uh, Taurus. Okay. When it comes to a relationship or working towards a relationship here. But this is someone who's very determined very determined here to come towards you. A lot of fire energy. They feel very passionate. Tell me more about this Three of Cups. Tell me more about this Three of Cups. Okay, we got the Nine of Pentacles. Your energy. Okay, well, they see you as very accomplished. They see you doing well for yourself. Maybe you own your own business or you have a side business or you're just doing very well in your career at this time. I got the Queen of Pentacles here as well. So again, something about seeing your value, seeing your worth here. Okay, knowing you're worth it. We got the King of Cups. 
okay they're not saying a whole lot yeah look at that king of cups you know showing me here in the upcoming energy communication here with the king of cups I feel like you really got someone here, Taurus. Either they haven't expressed to you how they feel, um, or this is someone who is a friend. Some of you, it's an apology here. Somebody, I feel, it definitely has a hard time being vulnerable, but they know they need to communicate. They know, uh, you know, if they want some movement here in this connection, they're going to have to open up. They're going to have to communicate to you. Let's see what they're struggling with here. Okay, again, you know, here's the unexpected message, confession here. They're, they're struggling with some sort of confession. I really feel like this is really about how they're feeling about you. But let's see why uh, the Ten of Wands is here. Tell me, oh gosh, tell me more about this Ten of Wands. Okay, here's the King of Cups again. Oh, there it is. The Eight of Wands. They wanted to come out again. Okay, yeah. They're really, um, I feel, struggling with the communication. This is someone who has a hard time being vulnerable, okay, opening up. Um, some time has passed, though. It does feel like time has passed. Let's see why Temperance is here. Tell me more about Temperance. Tell me more about Temperance. Okay, yeah. They have, they have fears of rejection here. Okay, so I feel like this is causing them to really question, right? How do I say it? How I get, how am I going to, you know, uh, explain to Taurus? Some of you, it may feel be like this person may be actually needing to tell you some sort of truth, um, you know, something maybe that you're not expecting here, a confession, maybe justifying uh, their actions for some sort of heartbreak, needing to give an apology. For others, I feel like this is a friend around you, Taurus, somebody who is interested and they just have fear. It does feel like they have fear around rejection. So let's pull some uh, love oracles. Let's see what the energy shows here for you Taurus what else does Taurus need to know please share with Taurus what they need to know okay interesting okay so this is someone I feel they watch you on social media okay um you know you could have met this person to online or online dating all right but this is also a very uh reminiscing energy thinking about you missing you you also have here music Okay, maybe the two of you share music together or someone here in this connection is a musician. It's interesting because bottom of the deck here, you do have between the lines. So this is someone, there is some sort of hidden, um, there's something hidden here that this person needs to confess and they haven't been really clear. I feel maybe about their intentions or how they are feeling. Let's see what else comes out for you, Taurus. Thank you, Spirit and Angels, for your guidance. What other messages do we have for Taurus? Okay, yeah. Change. They want something to change here, okay? It definitely feels like a dynamic between you and this person that needs to change. And some time, I feel like some time has gone by. They feel the very strong connection with you. Maybe there have been some blocks or challenges that have gotten in the way for you and this person to come together. But look, they want to go on a date with you, all right? Some of you, it may be, right, the friend energy wanting to go on a date, meet up. I do see a upcoming communication text message here as well from this person. Interesting. Let's, uh, I'm going to pull some more tarot. We're going to see what else uh, the energy shows here for you, Taurus. Thank you, Spirit. Angels for your guidance. What other messages do we have for Taurus? So I feel really this is someone who is not really, uh, you know, they haven't been 100% clear with you about what they want. Look at that. Five of Pentacles. Okay. <laughs> Five of Pentacles, they're feeling alone. This could be someone feeling left behind. 
type of energy. They know they have to do something to give to this connection. Yep, they're trying to gain the courage here with strength. You got Leo energy. I don't know if I called out the signs, but we definitely have strong Sagittarius uh, getting Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. A lot of fire here, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. We have your energy, Earth energy. Definitely could be dealing with an earth sign. We have, we have all the signs here, okay? But here it is, okay? The Empress, somebody who um, I feel very attracted to your energy, gaining the courage here to communicate, to start something new. Again, I keep getting, they want to change the dynamic of where this connection is at. We do have uh, the King of Cups on the bottom of the deck as well. So this is someone I feel who, yeah, they have a hard time expressing it. The King of Cups doesn't uh, wear their heart on their sleeve. This could even be, for some of you, somebody that you work with, okay, with this Eight of Pentacles. But this is showing me upcoming here. This is someone who's going to make the effort. They're going to put the focus in. They want to change the dynamic is really what I am seeing there. So I'm going to pull a few more cards and then I'm going to take it to the extended. So what else does Taurus need to know? What else does Taurus need to know? Okay, we got success and we have growth here. A number eight. I feel like this person's looking at the possibilities. Yep, I said it. There's another eight. Eight may be important to you. You may see repeating eights somehow. Um, dedicated effort. That yeah, they're tr they they want this to be successful. They're gonna put their focus towards you. I had said that. Yeah, number four. They're gonna take the lead here. This is also Aries energy. So this is someone Taurus who. I feel like they they want to take the lead. They want to be in control. And this is someone who definitely they don't show. They don't show their hand. They don't show um, their feelings is what I'm getting here. Right. And look at bottom of the deck here. We have simply love. OK, so this is this is someone I feel it's a soulmate connection. Someone and has a very strong connection with you. And uh, they're really trying to figure out how to change this dynamic between the two of you. So I'm going to take it to the extent and we're going to dive deeper. Uh, I hope to see you there. Link is in the description box and in the comments. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of the day or evening. And I'm sending you angel love.